My name is Tammy. I work at Southeastern Radiology Associates. I'm here today to hopefully clear up any questions that you may have or some fears or anxiety about having mammograms. We offer two types of mammograms in our office. We offer screening, we offer diagnostic. Now our screening mammograms are for patients that don't have any problems with their breast. You can have a provider schedule your mammogram. However, you don't need that. All you need is for your provider to receive your results for your mammogram. You'll receive your results in one to two work days. You'll get it on my chart. You may get it mailed to your house as well, or your provider will give it to you. Our diagnostic mammograms, now that's different. That's if you have a, an area in your breast tissue that's a, a concern for you. You will receive your results the day that you have your mammogram because obviously you're very anxious about what you're feeling or what your provider has found in your breast tissue. You also may get your screening mammogram and then be asked to come back for additional views. And in that case, that would also be a diagnostic. Our radiologist may recommend at that point after getting those additional films, a three month, a six month, a 12 month follow up, um, other additional studies that we do in our office, MRI of the breast or uh, breast ultrasound. If they do, they'll talk to you at that point and try to alleviate any fears that you have. We have a system now called Opt-in that most of our providers are using. Uh, this is wonderful. It has really cut down a lot of anxiety on patients and alleviated a lot of excess time in trying to contact your provider, finding out that you need these additional views, contacting your provider, getting the order, putting it in the system, and then calling you. So now if our provider does an opt-in, if you have a screening mammogram, the radiologist recommends additional views, we can go ahead and make your appointment. We'll still get the order and put it in there, but we can do that as we're doing your mammogram. So it gets you in quicker and it gets you with results faster. Patients, when they come in, they'll say, I don't need to have a mammogram. I don't have any family history. Where did the family history start? The patient or the family member that had the breast cancer the first time in your family didn't have a family history. So that's why we recommend all patients over the age of 40. So you need to have that mammogram even though you don't have a family history. And you need to have it every year. If we catch these things earlier, it makes it much easier for your treatment to take effect and work better for you. I'm gonna to explain to you a little bit about getting your mammogram, especially if this is your first mammogram, which would be your baseline mammogram. We would place your breast up here facing the unit, such as this, and we would compress with this paddle. We're using a foot switch, the technologist, to compress the breast tissue till the tissue is taut, okay? It's not meant to harm you or hurt you or be too tight to where you can't stand it. Um, we'll do that on both breasts. We also do a side picture, which the unit is turned to the side. The patient is facing the machine, and that is called our medial lateral position. So we're getting from this side of the breast to the outer side of the breast. We'll do that as well on both sides. A lot of our patients will say that their compression is not that bad at all. That as a matter of fact, they'll even comment, is that it, that's all you're gonna do. So the compression is really not that bad. And I like to think of it as a bag of marbles. If you see a bag of marbles, you're gonna have, and you're gonna take a picture of it, you're gonna see exactly that. There's gonna be a bag and there's gonna be all these marbles all over in there. When you put that bag up there and you take that picture just like this, that's all you're gonna see. But if you can compress that bag of marbles out, you're gonna see all the different marbles and the bag might just be taut, okay? That's all we're doing. You can see from the side here how this paddle will give with the breast tissue. So if your breast is here and I'm compressing, you see how that paddle flexes and moves with the breast tissue. That makes it a lot more comfortable for the patient. And patients that have had prior mammograms always comment on how much easier this is now. Now we talked about this being a um, 3D unit. 3D is, for example, if you took a loaf of bread 
If you take a picture of a loaf of bread the way it sits, that's all you're gonna see is the loaf of bread. However, if you did this under 3D, it's very similar to taking each slice of bread out of that loaf, pulling it up and looking at the white part on that loaf, maybe seeing if there's a hollow area, if there's a darker area, a seed in that loaf of bread. And that's essentially what the radiologist is doing. He's taking a picture of your breast and then taking slices out of the breast and seeing each one at a certain thickness so that he can see better to see if there's anything um, to be concerned about or if there's any changes as we spoke about earlier uh, with your mammogram. I do wanna point out some helpful hints for those who just can't tolerate being tender or uncomfortable. You can decrease your caffeine intake. Um, I would do that maybe one to two days prior to your mammogram. You also could take some ibuprofen or some Tylenol prior to coming for your appointment. This may not alleviate all the tenderness, but it certainly will help. And remember that having a mammogram being uncomfortable for just a few minutes is much better than having breast cancer and not knowing it. I hope that you'll schedule your mammogram now with us at Southeastern Radiology Associates. And even more so, I hope that you'll have it every year. Each year, we ceremoniously light a pink ribbon atop UNC Health Southeastern in observance of October as Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The ribbon remains lit throughout the month as a reminder for women to participate in screenings in the fight against breast cancer. A special thanks to UNC Health Southeastern Foundation for their generous support in promoting Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Your support helps to educate, inspire, and empower our community.